The political future of former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan is in doubt after he was barred from holding public office for five years. The Electoral Commission took the step after he was sentenced to three years in prison on corruption charges. Khan's conviction means he'll also lose his position as an MP. The former Prime Minister's legal team is challenging the charges, claiming they're politically motivated. The recent premature decision by the Election Commission of Pakistan is just another method for this unmandated government to try to eliminate Imran Khan from the political landscape of Pakistan. We must remember that Imran Khan was, is, and always will remain the chairman of Pakistan Tariq e Insaf, the largest national level party in the country. Imran Khan has spent decades in the spotlight, first as a cricket icon and then as a high profile politician. He founded his PTI, or Pakistan Movement for Justice Party, in 1996. He became Prime Minister in 2018, vowing to end corruption and promising to improve the economy. But he was ousted from the top job after a no confidence vote in April last year and blamed the United States for helping to topple his government. At the time, he vowed to fight on. People said to me, Imran Khan, you should resign. I should resign? I have played cricket for 20 years. Those who have played cricket with me, the cricketing world, knows that I fight until the last bowl. I have never accepted defeat in life. Whatever the result of the vote, I will come forward with more strength. Since then, the 70-year-old has been at the heart of political turmoil in the country. Khan led protests demanding early elections, was arrested and also shot in the leg during a rally. But he'll be ineligible to run in a general election due this year following the decision to bar him from office. In Karachi, residents have weighed in on the former leader's jailing. If a court sentences a person, he has the right to appeal against the decision. If someone is disqualified by the election commission, even before he has a chance to appeal, this is totally unjust for the politicians as well as for the public. When Khan was arrested the last time, there were violent protests. But there has been no such reaction this time. It clearly shows that his popularity has gone down, which is definitely going to affect his political career. Pakistan's future suffered a setback the day Imran Khan's government was toppled. In fact, any government, whether Imran Khan's or any other party's, it's imperative that they complete their five-year term. For this, all institutions, even the establishment, have to agree to be on one page if Pakistan is to move forward. For now, Khan is being kept in a prison that houses hardened criminals after he was convicted of selling state gifts unlawfully while in power. His legal team has complained the facility doesn't meet the conditions for political prisoners. They've filed an appeal seeking to set aside his guilty verdict. The case is due to be heard in the Islamabad High Court today.